Hey, so today I thought I'd quickly address a topic that has come across a couple of times um, in the last few days and actually last few weeks, really since I started getting into my diet loads, especially now that I have lost quite a lot of weight to the point that some people who haven't seen me in a while have really noticed it. So last week I went to see a couple of people just before my birthday and a few people actually commented on the fact that I'd clearly lost a lot of weight and obviously I still have a very long way to go so right now I have 16 point I think it's 16.7 kilos until my target weight of 60 kilograms so hopefully by the time I'm at 60 kilos I should be like a straight size 8 because I know when I was 55 kilos I was like a size 6 slash 8 so I'm hoping I will be sort of like borderline but I, I've i basically said to everyone that if I get 60 kilos and I'm still like an 8 slash 10 like I might just drop like to 58 but I'm not getting back to this like I'm not going back to 55 kilos because it probably just wouldn't be um as healthy as you know yeah but anyway moving on to the topic I actually wanted to talk about with you guys was how I deal with plateaus during weight loss so I've had two plateaus so far um I've also the last week because of my birthday I've been off the diet because the one thing I realized was that ketogenic diets and alcohol do not mix Believe me, your alcohol tolerance is lowered to the point that one drink makes you feel like you've had six. So I made a decision that I was going to come off the diet for my birthday, which was interesting because it meant that I could road test a plan that I have for when I do come off the keto diet just to maintain my weight and make sure I don't put any back on. And it worked because... I basically restricted my, I could, I could have whatever I wanted as long as I didn't go over 1,400 calories a day. 1,400 calories a day is, uh, it's basically my BMR at the moment, or round about my BMR at the moment. My BMR, when I get 60 kilos, will be just under 1,400. So, the plan is, is once I get to my target weight I will just basically be consuming whatever my basal metabolic weight is at that point each day to make sure that I don't put any on um, because as a wheelchair user I don't actually need as many calories as people who can use their legs need basically um, because I you know my arm muscles aren't as big as leg muscles and etc etc so I have less less muscle mass that needs to be fed which means I don't need to eat as much which is what my body so desperately needed to realize when I first ended up in the chair which it didn't which is why I put on all the weight but anyway one of the ways at the moment that I'm basically getting really back into the diet but I also use it for when I've been um plateauing so when I've done like um my weighing scales so I kind of have I've got my own home ones that I use which are not the most accurate because I have to do loads of different maths and things like that to get the approximate right weight so they're good to just you know they're around about a kilo out which some people will be like well that's not too bad but for me it's ridiculous so when I go to hospital is when I when I get my accurate weights done um but with those ones, if all of a sudden they're saying the same weight for a couple of the weedings, I tend to think, hmm, okay, I'm probably in a plateau. At that point, I reduce my calorie deficit. So my calorie deficit, I don't really focus that much on my calories. I focus more on how much fat I'm getting, carbohydrate, etc., etc. When I start plateauing, I basically up my water intake, up my coffee intake, so I double my coffee intake and caffeine and things because caffeine's a natural fat burner but also I do the two shake one meal a day thing so what I do I basically have um 
in the morning I have my apple cider vinegar and water, my green tea, and then I'll have a protein shake. That's normally what happens anyway in the diet that I'm normally on. Um, if I don't have the protein shake, I'll be, I'll have like eggs and salmon or something ridiculous like that. Um, and then lunch, normally I'm eating solids, but basically on this one I basically have a protein shake at lunch. And then at dinner I'll have like either chicken or fish with sort of either like a salad or vegetables. Um... And then sometimes like I'll add bacon in and things. But basically the whole idea is that I keep my calories to below 800 calories a day whilst keeping the fats up and the carbohydrates extremely low. Um, it's one of those things where if you do do it, and it does help accelerate into ketosis as well, but if you do do it, you have to be really careful, one, not to put yourself in starvation mode because otherwise it completely fails and your body puts on weight when you come off. And two, I only do that for a maximum of seven days. I would not do it any longer. I actually got told by my dietitian that while it's safe for me to do because I'm a wheelchair user, most people that sort of calories that sort of calorie intake each day just is not safe. Um, and if you do do it, you shouldn't do it for more than a week. And when you do come back up, um, you go on to one shake and two meals a day. So, and the two meals a day are effectively what you've been having in the evening on your two shakes, one meal a day. You then do that lunch and evening so I think you end up increasing from 800 to I know with me it's from 800 to around 1100 calories a day which is what I'm doing at the moment 1100 calories a day which normally that equates to around three to four pounds a week which are, it's normally about two kilos a week I've worked out that I've been losing um but that's only because I'm doing a hell of a lot when I can I'm doing a hell of a lot of pushing myself about and I'm also doing a hell of a lot of like um, weight work and things like that and strength training that is safe for my spine but I'm also doing quite a bit of cardio. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get back in the pool in two weeks because once I'm back in the pool I'll be so much I'll be so much happier. Obviously like most people know that I I've also had the setbacks on this diet as well of ending up back on steroids. <laughs> Um, my, I actually went on to this, I went back onto the whole two shakes, one meal thing while I was on steroids because that was the only way I was losing weight. If I was on two meals, one shake, I would have just plateaued. And I also, I think I went on it whilst, literally for a week while I, the week after my hand happened, I think I went on it as well. I have to double check when I exactly went, but I know I haven't been on it for about a month, um, which is why I was just like, oh, do you know what, I can I can do this, it's absolutely fine. I just have to make sure that I'm boom and there. But yeah, hopefully that answers your question. If you want any advice on the whole plateau diet and how it works, just um, comment below and I will put my own plan in. I'll also put in the protein shake that I use because I use, uh, what's it called? It's one from Superdrug. It's called Somebody. It's the new Superdrug one, but it's like a hundred and, I think it's 116 calories per shake because you mix it with water. I find it really nice, but some people say they don't find it that nice. But that's up to you guys which one you use. Um, Just make sure that whatever one you use, you try and keep your... I always do it, so with me I do basically between lunch and breakfast, keep it below 300 calories and then 500 calories for dinner, which with the sort of meals that I do, they're well below that anyway, but like I say, because I'm a wheelchair user, I can afford to drop to the 800 calories without putting my body in starvation mode, you just have to be really, really careful, and you also have to be really strict to make sure you don't do it for more than a week. Um, but yeah, like I said, any questions, comment below and I'll try and answer them. And in a few weeks, I think probably, I'll probably do it this time next month. So beginning of May, I'll do like another video on my weight loss. And hopefully I would have lost notably more weight by that point as well because of my weight goals and the actual target weight and the target date that I have for that target weight as well. Um, so yeah, hope you all have a good day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are and speak to you guys soon.